Double Dragon Trilogy. Originally released in 2013 and is available on your iPhone, Android phone, or Windows PC. However, pricing is different on each platform. iPhone is the cheapest at $2.99, Android slightly more expensive, being $3.49 on the Google Play Store, and to play on PC, both the Steam and GOG versions go for $5.99. This is a collection of the first three Double Dragon arcade games, being Double Dragon, Double Dragon 2, The Revenge, and Double Dragon 3, The Rosetta Stone. And it is important to note that these are not the Nintendo Entertainment System versions, as those versions were graphically downgraded and had new gameplay elements inserted into them such as the leveling mechanic in the original Double Dragon for NES. So what you have here are three very old-style beat-em-up arcade games. And yes, you can change the difficulty, and you can play multiplayer both locally and online, but go in knowing that these games were designed to drain as many quarters out of children as humanly possible. Even when set too easy, there is still going to be a lot of stun locking and cheap deaths. But that is all part of the old arcade experience, which is probably what you're looking for when you buy a Double Dragon trilogy. Graphically speaking, the first two games are fine for the time that they were from. The third game, however, has a weird choppiness to the graphics that I hope was captured here. And it's an odd thing, because if just looking at a still, the third game looks like a graphical improvement, but the second things start moving, it becomes choppy and off-putting. The music is also worth noting, because in the first two games, the music is really good. And in fact, was the thing I enjoyed the most about the experience here. However, the music is just unlistenable in the third game. Gameplay-wise, these are all beat-em-ups. You punch and kick and jump. And in all the games, there are weird little special moves to find through different button combinations. And learning to use those reliably will make these games significantly easier. Though one thing I will note is that in the second game, there's kind of a weird quirk with the controls. One button will always attack in the direction that you are facing, and the other button will always attack behind you relative to the direction you are facing. And that takes far more getting used to than you can possibly imagine. So as a collection, this clearly has its issues, but at the same time, it costs you $6 at the most. So, I actually would recommend this collection just based on that alone. If you have any nostalgia for old-school beat-em-up games, or have any curiosity about them, this is a great place to start for a very tiny investment. These might not be the best beat-em-up games, or even the best versions of these games, but they're $6 at the most, and if you're playing it on your phone, it comes in under $4. If you get at least one hour of entertainment out of this, you've easily gotten more than your money's worth. Please do like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends.